question is from Prime and Glory. What are your favorite ways to use a sled for your training and for training clients? Oh, Pr Prime and Glory, good friend of mine. Um, okay, sled is a, in my opinion, for me at least, was a game-changing piece of equipment that I didn't utilize until much later. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't understand its value until much later, mainly because the gyms and stuff that I worked in didn't have sleds. Sleds require... Uh, you know, uh, some kind of a space that you can drag them across, either fake grass or, or bring them outside. So I just wasn't exposed to a lot of them. But once I started using them later on, and once I started using them on my clients, holy cow, the performance benefits that they would gain. Yes. Part of it, I think, has to do with the fact that it's so functional. You're you're pulling yeah. or pushing something and moving, you know, uh, through through space, kind of in a similar way that you would in real life. The other part, I think, is that your body knows how to do that well yes. already, and I think that that's that that's something that differentiates, like having to learn the skill of a squat, for instance. Like that takes some time for people to really build and develop that skill. Where this is something that's almost immediate, and so if I had anybody with any kind of like uh, knee issue or anything that was like a little bit where it, it inhibited their performance on the squat, like that was another great alternative for me to then still build up leg strength and drive. Uh, you know, simultaneously while we worked on the skill of the squad. Oh, yeah. You could have most people, unless you're dealing with someone who's very, very deconditioned or really bad issues, most people can push a really light squat, a really light sled. Like you could get the average person and say, okay, you can't squat yet. Your lunges, we got to be very yeah. careful. You're still not, but I can have you hold these handles and just push this sled here for 15 feet, and then that's your exercise. And the strength gains that people would get were, were exceptional. I know um, uh, Joe DeFranco, was, he's, he showed how the sled yeah. improved athletic performance, heavy sled drags, which uh, now is a staple with athletic training. Now, do you guys have a favorite, a personal favorite that you guys like to use? I, I, love, uh, I love knee extension, so I like actually pulling the sweat sled. Focusing on the quads? Yeah, and focusing on the quad, quads where I sit down like in like a chair, like 90 degrees, uh -huh. and then I'm actually – doing knee extension, walking back. It's to me, uh, I would way rather do that. If I have a place to do sled drags and I was even thinking about doing leg extensions on a machine, I'll be doing sled drags. Plus, I love the the cardio benefits that you get from this this way of strength yeah. training too. Like it's, real, uh, of course it's great and it's functional. It's great for building strength. It's great for athletic performance. And then it's also great for the cardiovascular endurance too. Mm -hmm. Your heart gets pumping. When yeah. you when you push that sled. Well, well earlier you mentioned lateral sled drives. Yeah. That was like a staple for me. It was just because of the fact that uh, you know moving laterally to begin with. There's just not a whole lot of exercises that um, you can pull from. There's, it's like a small category, mm -hmm. and so this was one of them where uh, it, again it's functional. Like you, you you intuitively sort of can know how to how to move sideways while something is 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 you're dragging behind you, uh, and then you know improving on that helps then to then give you more stability uh, whenever you're just squatting. You know w w with both feet. Yeah, I would say I noticed the most benefit uh, from lateral, uh, like karaoke's or lateral pulling. Basically, okay, so lateral pulling basically means I have something attached to my waist yeah. or I'm holding something with my upper body and I'm Some pulling- kind of a harness. Yeah, and I'm pulling the sled, but I'm walking sideways. I'm either walking sideways by stepping out, bringing my feet together, or pushing off, then bringing my feet together, or I'm crossing right. my legs crossing over. in front, which is what I like to do, and then step sideways. Yeah. That one right there is one of my favorite. Now, the one that I like the most because it's the most fun are explosive sled pulls. I like to get a long you know, strap. Oh, I like yeah. to sit down in a squat, stand up, and yank and a heavy – yeah, yeah, as hard as I can. And that's just because of my, my – my, when I did judo as a kid and jujitsu – that ability to pull uh, yeah. into into you is really well. Important. Think about that for power, you know, and like I mean, we're we're like like using rows for strength is great, but now how do you make that more explosive? More that's a great way to make that that great exercise more explosive. Yeah, even. I would say if you own a home gym, uh, of course, most important barbells, dumbbells, a rack, an adjustable bench. The next piece of equipment that I would say w that would be a, a valuable investment would be a sled. You know, where it's, especially when you could push outside. I think that, that that's a should be a staple in a lot of well uh, put together home gyms.